one of my favorite regular Nintendo games. Super Mario Brothers 3. And if any of you guys remember this game, this is the one where you could have a raccoon tail. And I always thought that this one was much better than the first one or the second one. Let's pop this in and play it for a minute here. <laughs> been over 20 years since I've seen this game. If you remember, on the original you couldn't go left once you went so far on the level you couldn't go back like that. <clears throat> but on Super Mario Brothers 3 you could. And this is also the one that had the the skeletons and the castles and the you got to fight the uh, whatever you want to call them, warlords or castle turtle, main turtle dudes a lot more often which for me made the game a lot more fun and if you remember at the end of each level you get a thing and you get three in a row you get something special, you finish three levels I think you get an extra life and if you remember with the raccoon you can either spin and hit things or if you speed run he'll stick his arms out and you can actually fly through an entire level which could come in handy on some of the harder levels I don't even know how I ever oh remember this after not playing this for 20 years but Oh, almost got me. <coughs> got two fire flowers. Surprised I haven't died yet. Got it. Oh, I guess I didn't get it. Let's see, just to show you, if I can beat a castle real quick. This is probably bringing back a few memories for some of you guys. The first castle, I'm assuming it should be pretty easy. Ah. These parts get annoying. I always want to speed run through them, but if you do that, it doesn't give you enough time to get out. <clears throat> Alright, now these guys in the castles, you gotta jump on them three times and then they're dead, which it's actually extremely easy to do. Beat the castle lord, or whatever you want to call it. Remember this level from 20 years ago. I never liked these water levels, so I would recommend staying above ground on any of these levels if you can. Oh, oh, look out. Oh, well, that was a bummer. So this will show you what happens when you get three of the things. I didn't get three of matching, but if you get three, you still get an extra life. <clears throat> Ooh, this 
is the level that has those moving uh, things. Yeah, there's the first one right there. And the bowing, the boingy, bouncy music notes on these levels. These levels where you have to ride on these wood things are always pretty sketchy. an easy level. Trying to run through quick and just beat these first two castles. Memory game. Hmm. Womp womp womp. Pick a box. You gotta jump on one and press B if I remember right. Firepower. These you just gotta run through, speed run, and hit the dude real quick, and you'll beat those every time. Alright, to the main castle. <clears throat> this is anything like the first castle, we'll be able to beat it here really easy. Ooh, this is the ship, the one with the magic wand. I never liked the levels with the flying cannonballs. Especially this one, because it's pretty sporadic. Same as the other one, just jump on him three times, don't let him land on you. Oh no, he got me. Oh no. Hey, I think I only had to hit him twice. You get the wand and you turn the king back into a dude and... That's it. Thank heavens, I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here's a letter from the princess. But you guys don't want to sit here and watch me play Nintendo all day, but just another glimpse of one of my favorite regular Nintendo games. It's a throwback video of Super Mario 3. I'm going to go on to the world number two.